Remember the old Harlan Safari days when people would get insulted if you offered them tickets to a Charger game? Back then there were more no-shows than shows. And the Chargers were so pathetic that several college teams wanted to play them for homecoming. Rumor had it that during a 1975 home game, they were playing so poorly that the entire offensive unit was arrested for loitering on a football field. But the times they are a changed, and San Diegans now love their football team more than people from Lucadia love bean sprouts. And Charger season tickets are harder to find than Jimmy Hoffa. And even though the chairman of the board can't save Chrysler and the U.S. economy is on shaky ground, Charger mania has created a booming industry. Entrepreneurs are discovering that fans will buy anything as long as it's blue and gold or has a lightning bolt on it. There are Charger clocks, Charger ties, cowboy hats, t-shirts, and of course, jerseys, Charger watches, calendars, seat cushions, duffel bags, vests, Charger sweaters, bumper stickers, footballs, and even bigger footballs, records, more jerseys, and more cowboy hats, and more caps, and more Charger t-shirts, hankies, helmets, cups, and of course, Charger pennants, and more sweaters, pens, and more caps, and knickknacks and doodads of all shapes and sizes for your favorite football fanatic just in time for Christmas. And even Earl Shive reports that San Diego car owners are bullish on the home team's colors. And a recent survey revealed that four out of five graffiti writers preferred blue and gold. And if San Diego should beat Pittsburgh next Monday, although some may dream of a white Christmas, San Diego Charger fans will find their Yuletide colored blue and gold. For News 8, I'm Larry Himmel at Large, San Diego Stadium.